Oh, hell no. Woo! The billion year old Jigglypuff. What's up, guys? It's Tarantar Tube, and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. In the last episode, we beat the champion and we have entered Area Zero, the deepest crater in the center of Paldia. We are here, and even seeing this crazy tropical site, we're still at the gate. Before we go on, guys, go on and shank that like button. 4K likes, double upload. Another episode in a few hours. It's kind of crazy to think we were just fighting the champion last episode. And we came all the way here by the end. I can't even ride on Karaidon. He's too scared of this place. So he started there. And we got to find buildings like this one here. I don't really understand it. Sada locked herself in her lab. Okay, we have these buildings here. Are these recent? They're all destroyed. I imagine the Pokemon destroyed them or whatever experiments... Was there not an item here just now? Or whatever experiments were happening here. You know, the Pokemon just <laughs> destroyed it. Same outcome either way. But I need to find stuff like this. And then I can unlock uh, Sada's lab. I want to see what level these Pokemon are. I'm curious. Oh, F out of here, Pommy. Pommy disappoints me so much, bro. It was such a strong Pokemon. And it, it don't evolve. It just get longer. And not by much either. It looked like different forms of Pommy. I was thinking about the Elite Four. And I feel like the way Larry... The frick is all the sparkling. The way Larry kind of changed his team on me, I feel like while the Elite Four did say they're going all out, Gita said that too. Naughty Mint. That I feel like. That I feel like they they weren't using their real teams, and and I'm just thinking. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see what level they are. Fifty four. So. Uh, This is a million year old crater created. I don't, I didn't know what to expect when I came down here. I thought it would be all desolate, but look, I can't freaking even, okay, there, I can move. I guess the water's not too deep. Either the, either it was gonna be desolate or it's a preservation of how things formed down here after the meteor hit a million years ago. So it's like, I don't really get how it's all tropical down here, though. But it's all tropical. It's making me think the dinosaur Pokemon and all really would have survived. But remember in the previous episode, I said that... Let's say we have an Ancient Dawn fan. There's no way, for example, that it could have... It could exist while its descendant could also. Because as it reproduces, it would slowly evolve into the descendant, you would think. But when you look back to those books we read, they worded it differently. Because I'm trying to think of whether these Pokemon time traveled here or not. They worded it like... Yeah, so many different people try to study stuff here. I guess I could just fall off. But I think I die. They worded it as like... Oh, I'm gonna die today! Oh, it won't let me. <laughs> Maybe if I really pushed, it would let me. They worded it like billion-year-old Jigglypuff. 10,000-year-old Magneton. That makes me realize that... They didn't reproduce. They would, if somehow these Pokemon can live for hundreds of thousands of years down here, they would be the ancient versions. So, these Pokemon are the real deal. But the only question there is, like, if we're playing Pokemon Violet, why are there Pokemon from the future here? You know? Everything makes sense so far since we're talking about the past Pokemon. Oh, you can jump down! Here's another question. What the frick is Sada doing here? Like, she been- Maybe she's possibly been down here for 10 years. And this is why she kinda weird. What you looking at, Arvin, huh? You wanna die? Who installed this railing like the rest of the place ain't dangerous? Yeah, what is Sada? Oh, so Penny, how'd you wind up friends with Thamel anyway? Huh? Well, I guess he just really came through for me when I needed him. Everything was going off the rails. School was a mess, and my friendships, well, ditto. Thamel was a big help getting all that sorted out. Wow, so he helped you out too while he was tackling all the gyms? That's awesome. How about you then, Nemona? Plus, I said he should aim to be a champion, and he did, so I've got a champion, bud. Hold it right there, you two. You think you've got a cool friendship origin stories with Damo? They're nothing compared to what me and him went through. Our friendship's on another level. Uh, nobody asked you. Stop trying to flex on us. <laughs> I guess we're all in the buds with Damo club. I've got the best friends. If only the history professor could have joined us, she could have looked at this rare bone. 
What is that? What is that doing here, guys? Yeah, the text it, it don't slow down. I guess when that happens, I have to like pause and read it. Flare bliss. This is pretty good. Sada kind of looking crazy, especially once we came down here. She started talking all robotic like. I would imagine she programmed robotic uh, automated messages and stuff that analyze who's here. But it makes you curious. You know, we have only ever interacted with her through freaking Zoom. And she looks perfectly normal there. You know, she's like scratching her head and stuff. She don't look like a robot. Or it looks like she's actually somewhere in front of a camera. But she doesn't sound like she's trapped. She's clearly trapped here. For some reason, in her lab. <laughs> no! Well... Armin, how the frick are you doing that? Fresh water? Is there a freaking den outside <laughs> in the real world? I've made it back to the top where we started. And I'm just gonna give a visual. Those blue things, they seem to be satellites. Shut up, Jump Love. I am hot. I'm not hostile. There are four satellites there, but we don't gotta worry about that. There's the first research lab. Sorry, I got so entranced by this music that I had to fully explore the top level. Who is that? Oh, a freaking Halucha? Man, to think Pokemon and all live here. Feels like there's been a whole secret. Oh, but that's what we're looking for. Yeah, that's the first research lab. I feel so betrayed. Like there's a whole civilization here. That must be one of the buildings the professor was talking about. How old is it? Oh yeah, what were they called? Radish rations? Research stations. <laughs> well, I was close. That look she gave. Well, you have such great memory, Penny. What's great is my common sense compared to you lot, apparently. <laughs> Shreen, who? Who that boy? God, what the heck is that? It's a freaking... That's a Pokemon. La Primera uses. Nice. I didn't know that species could be found in the Great Crater. Come on, Thema. Let's take it on together. I can't believe this is... I can't believe this is the top champion's signature Pokemon. <laughs> The music here bumps, man. I can't believe I thought this thing looked a li like a Lilip. It does. Those are Lilip's eyes in the middle, but I, it seems to have nothing to do with Lilip. Wow. Champion Thamel and Nimona sending out their poke. Oh, God. And she's still freaking higher level than this crap. Okay. This is four times effective. Even she don't really wear her glove. Maybe you're not allowed to wear it while you're in school. <laughs> Students can't wear the glove. Okay, Toxic Debris is a really good ability. This is so freaking cool. Are my other friends watching? I like how, you know, like she recognized that was the champion's Pokemon. Are there gonna be a lot more of these rare Pokemon down here, you think? You think that was something? Please, you have no idea how terrifying Area Zero really is. Wow, patronizing much? <laughs> Easy, you two. Let's just head inside the research station. I thought freaking Arvin and Amona would be arguing. Now we got freaking Penny. You see Penny's face? <laughs> Alright, let's see what's in here. What freaking happened to this place, man? Look how, like, old these buildings are. The freaking vines growing on it. 200-ish years ago or 140 years ago is when Professor Heat, um, well, book author Reed Heat, you know, finished his expedition somehow to the bottom, which I can't even see from here. And I'll die if I jump down. But then the lab stuff only started by Sada 10 years ago. This cannot be 10 years old. Or I guess it could be 10 years old at most. Looks... I guess, I guess. It looks 10 years old. There's a freaking bed here? Wow, are these ancient ruins? They look far too recent for that. It appears you've reached your first station without incident. This facility was constructed 87 years ago as a way station for those serving Area Zero. So that's why there's a bed. That's so depressing. Looks like we can use this place to rest if we need to. Demo, if you'd be so kind as to disable the first lock on the lab using that central panel. Gosh, she's... Now she don't talk too much like a robot. Is she freaking... I would love to push the button later after I look at these open books. Want to lie down for a rest? Does that look like what I was going to do? There are mass outbreaks coming. We are determined that this energy crystallization is linked to the being we call six letters. The interlocking hexagonal plate that comprises its shell 
must somehow cause this phenomenon, which I've dubbed terrestrializing. Something's shell is the pure power of of this these Terra crystals, bro. This this a freaking crystalish Pokemon. Let me see this book. Thank you. Thanks to my prototype Terra Orb, I secured corporate funding for my research and made a laboratory in the lighthouse near Kabopoko. This is Sada. Someday though, I'll return to the crater and resume my study of these crystals. Bruh. Did Sada come to this bunker 10 years ago and put these here? You know what I'm thinking the other out like or did she somehow was she somehow here 87 years ago? I, that's that's just me tripping still. I don't I don't I, I there's no way stuff like that could happen. You heard the professor you better press it. Lock disabled. Three four is still active. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. You notice something's wrong, right? The way she's speaking. Looks like you could get a decent rest on the bed here. Although it looks kind of mild dewy. I ain't sleeping on that. I wanted to check out the other rooms, but the doors are busted. So yeah, this is going great. You hack, you can do it. I wonder if my mom ever worked here. Yeah, she did, bro. Go read the book. What? Where would you like to go? No, 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 no. Wow, teleportation. The doors are locked. So there are other stuff happening here. So this crater started a million years ago. For every civilization that's lived where Paldia is now, they've always looked at this crater with the mystery. So it, it would make sense. And we knew from the Paldian king that some people try to figure out what's here. So we have some bunkers from 87 years ago. I... I almost never saw my mom my whole life. Oh, is it time for the backstory reveal? Teddy, shh. Are you kidding me? She was always busy with the work. Hardly ever came home. I cooked for myself, cleaned for myself. My boss was the only one I could talk to. So yeah, I don't really know her at all. Even if she's my mom. I try not to think about it too much. I try to just be proud that she was this famous genius. But the truth is, I'd rather just have a mom who's there. I haven't seen her for ages now, unless you count seeing her in the news or whatever. Used to at least get emails sometimes, but even those stopped a few years ago. And then she appears out of the blue and tells me to come to Area Zero. Some family, right? Oh, uh, but... We're not here to judge or anything. And I'm sorry about earlier. I shouldn't have snapped at you like that. Nah, I was also giving you a hard time. Sorry, uh... <laughs> Last time I came to the Great Crater, I was trying to go see my mom. I got about this far, then I got attacked by some kind of creature I'd never seen before. Really? What kind of Pokemon was it? It wasn't even a Pokemon, more like this crazy, violent, rampaging sort of thing. You sure it wasn't just a Pokemon that, you know, a little more rampaging than average? Yeah, I'm sure it was like a completely different creature altogether. It hurt my boss stuff real bad. It's not like I just forget. I don't even want to run into that awful thing again. It was that strong, huh? Then I really hope I get to see it! If you freaking cut off their dialogue, I'm gonna dist- I would- why does this- I, This is the Pokemon that pisses me off when it chases you. Bro, leave me alone, bro. Who the frick cares about you? So this is only how far Arvin made it? This is mad realistic. It looks like we're not even like 5% deep into the crater. If- Yo, whoever Heat is... Thanks, bruv. He made it all the way to the bottom with his research team, which I I feel like. Look at that hollow trick groove into this this freaking theme song. Man, whoa! I just saw a vision from the future. It's a halucha and a top hat regional variant. I don't know why the image popped in my head. Please, you're probably faster. You're gonna freaking kill me! I just want to explore, bro. Why does it have to be like this? The freaking dialogue's probably gone too. Leave me alone. That's what I figured you'd say. You're really tactless sometimes, Mona. You know that? She's freaking strong. Now, where's the salt demon? There he is. I want to catch him. I need to see this man's entry. So salt be shaped like cubes, right? I guess that's why he's a freaking... He look like this. Garganako. Okay, let me quick ball this dude. Unlike some Pokemon, Halucha, I do want to meet them. Stupid Halucha, frick. He's freaking back too. For Arvin, when he see, he's, he knows what it looked like. When he sees whatever this Pokemon was, it's gonna freaking trigger him. I hope he's- oh my lord. 
I hope he sends up my boss stuff and he gets his redemption. You know? My boss need to conquer that. Wiggle. 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 Thank you. I have a freaking tropical dinosaur forest to explore. Garganaku will rub its fingertips together and sprinkle injured Pokemon with salt. Even severe wounds would promptly be healed afterwards. Wow. You're a kind, gentle giant. Okay, so what? Oh, is it Halucha? What Arvin just said. He almost never saw his mom, so we don't even know if his mom... <laughs> is like a robot or not, you know? You know, if I mean in the sense like she died and it's just her consciousness that's left here, right? If she was, if he was originally getting emails and it stopped a few years ago, that could be a, a certain, a pivotal moment that something happened to her. Because one thing I'll say for sure, she's, you freaking camouflaged. Damn. Like, like proper camouflage. Like if, if I was prey, that thing would have eaten me. All right, there's the second research lab. I'm just gonna, I'm just curious. I'm gonna go this way. So far, no dinosaurs. It seems right to say- Don't freaking go down there. It seems right to say that this crystal energy is- is uh... Wait a minute. The crystal energy is helping this place seem tropical. Uh, giving life. But wait a minute. We just heard that there's a Pokemon with six letters. That's shell is this crystal energy. So if a Pokemon- f If a meteor fell down here a million years ago, what if that was a Pokemon? What the frick does Eternatus have on this? Eternatus was 18,000, what, 20,000 years ago? I thought that was super ancient history. I'd never seen such time periods. This thing is a million. And we got rumors of a billion year old Jigglypuff. That man probably came on the meteorite. Some Pokemon must have came here. So Sada's crazy ass, this robot consciousness left of her, is gonna freaking resurrect this thing because she's stupid. Yo, daddy should be Turo, right? I don't think at the same time, though. I wonder how that works. It's always weird when they do that. Leave me alone. None of you come, please. I don't think someone could be that cold. You know, Sada, the way she talks to Arvin, I, I think... I don't think she means to be cold. I think she's not even... <laughs> you know, I don't think she's really super conscious. But, you know, we'll see. Until, until we get evidence of this, I'm gonna sound freaking crazy. And then also the other thing we heard is that Karadon was born in here. What does that even mean? He was born in here. He's not Cyclizer. I mean, Cyclizer, it could be Cyclizer, but they themselves have existed too. The second research station, about time too. Okay, Penny, hack the doors this time. I want to see some stuff. Surely you can do it. They must open somehow, mechanically. Phew, let's, let's head in and take a breather. Damn, she exhausted. I thought you'd have a bit more stamina, student council girl. Hehe, <laughs> who? I'm just full of surprises. That wasn't a compliment. <laughs> she's is a surprise that she's exhausted? Oh, hell no! Woo! The billion-year-old Jigglypuff! Oh, hey, look, a Jigglypuff. It's good to see some nice familiar Pokemon down here, too. Do not get near that thing. Get away! Oh my gosh, so cute. You die, Penny. You die tonight. Poo. What the? Wah! Run, Penny, run. Damn it, it's battle time. You can freaking fight! You have strong Pokemon. You're the boss of Team Star, man. That Jiggly, what's your name? What's your name? Don't give me Springtail. What's your name? It's gonna say Springtail. Because Sada is the only one who knows these names. She probably names them all. Uh, okay. Umbria. Oh, Penny. Thank you, Penny. Screamtail. Oh, shoot. You are a billion years old, dog? So cool, man. Oh. Yo, see, the, so, you know what I was saying earlier, right? There's no Wigglytuff at this point. This is peak Jigglypuff. But then it gets weaker over time, then finds Wigglytuff evolution. But I wonder what this thing's stats are. I'd body press, but I really don't want to kill it. Jigglypuffs are fairy normally. What would this one be? 
Yo, it's two ancient Pokemon. <laughs> so cool. Yes, yes, yes. I'll just slowly damage it. Wait, I'm not allowed to catch it. I have to kill it. All right, F that. I'll freaking kill your Umbreon too. Screamtail used rest. Screamtail? What's on your tail? Why would they call it that? Dude, this is so freaking cool. When uh, we, we saw that it was gonna freak Penny out, but I thought it would just like open up and these big fangs would come out. It still looked a little peaceful still. I mean, it still looked a little dangerous. I guess we're not allowed to catch it. Like even after this. It's not even fairy. Is it normal dark? <laughs> it found the peaceful life after. Please don't wake up. Oh, nice, Penny. Good work. We really have to kill it. Seriously, what was that? Darn thing scared me half to death. It was definitely kind of ferocious for Jigglypuff, wasn't it? No kidding. Come on, let's get inside already. One more jump scare like that and I'm done for. Wow, Arthur doesn't even know Sada's research. So when he says it's more dangerous down here, it's not even because he's Sada's son. He found this crap up himself because he just wanted to meet her. That's why he came down here, right? Frick, that's sad. I don't gotta go down there. I'm not saving Sada. That girl, that girl, they sealed her in there because she's dangerous. Like, uh, come on. Get, wait, wait. Freaking Clavo was a part of her research team. Clavo been down here. That's wild. That's crazy. Clavo. That's my dog, bro. Clavo. Oh, there's more books. Well, this looks pretty much the same as the first research station. Seems like all well, Pokemon don't come in here. We should be safe to catch our breath. Hey, seriously, what's with this place? That Pokemon. I've been wondering about that myself. I think maybe that Pokemon was one of these? Yeah, yeah, you'll find it. Read it. Huh? What's that book? Freaking, I could never find this book. Monsters of Area Zero. <laughs> I got that, man. As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon. And y'all call this man a liar. Though we wondered if these huge ferocious beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our teams suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. Monsters of Area Zero. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance to that Pokemon known as Donphan, yet differences such as its sheer size and the shape of its back set it apart as do its great tusks. Monsters of Area Zero? So they aren't actually Pokemon? I don't really know. What do you think, Damo? Uh, I think they're Pokemon, but let's keep it scary. I think... I don't think they're Pokemon. Hmm, maybe... They definitely do look different, at least. And I've never seen any of them in a Pokedex, either. I suppose the time has come for an explanation. What the frick? Can you not listen in? And she's... She doesn't sound too robotic if she's gonna answer us like this. Professor... Some of the life forms that you see residing now within Area Zero are ancient Pokemon that lived in a distant past long lost to us. Ancient Pokemon? What? That's awesome. Oh, come on. There's no way that's possible. The Zero Lab where I'm located contains a- Ah! Oh! I was stu- It happened! I thought I was so stupid! Um, she's a time traveler! But how did you bring the Pokemon in? Maybe it's not a time machine like a small capsule, but like a freaking full crab where a bunch of Pokemon came in. I never thought I would read that. I never thought I would read it. It's real. You can't just say that casually, bro. She's crazy. She's been here so long. She's just crazy. The Zero Lab where I'm located contains a time machine. Yo, remember the thing I cut out? I'll play it afterwards. It summons the ancient Pokemon to this place. So the thing my mom spent forever researching down here, she actually got it working? Indeed, though the cost was catastrophic. The cost? But a time machine? You mean you can actually travel to and from the past? It is theoretically possible to travel to the past. However, for a being such as a human, it would not be possible to return to the present. Well, that's horrifying. Mom, you... 
Why did you call us here to Area Zero? Arvin. I. If possible, I would like us to speak when we can meet face to face. It will be easier for you to understand once you can see the situation for yourself. Now then, Damo. Please use the central panel here and disable another log. Bro, I'm... My curious has peaked. I have so many freaking... Yo, first off... She's so crazy. Wouldn't it be believable if she up... Up... Uh, uploaded, like, a version of her mind somewhere and went to the past and learned the hard way? Like, she went to the past. She stuck there forever. I feel like the cost is two things. One of two things. Either... She's gravely injured, slash she, she, she died, and it's just the consciousness. Or two, the cost... I forget what the other one was. <laughs> okay, let's just read these. At last, I can resume work on the Terra Project. I'll move my research to the Zero Lab this month. My team will be smaller, but no matter. The strong influence of the crystals makes our experiments much more unstable. Her team is smaller because they left or they died? Like, the, you know, because she's crazy. The crystals' power is tremendous. Their unstable output made our corporate backers fret, but if we can harness this energy, it will open up research possibilities we'd only dreamed of. At last, paradise will be ours to create. Uh, is that a? Yo, she talked to Arvin. Finally, there's some humanity there. Okay. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. Hey, Damo. You know that book she told me to bring? I think it's got something to do with this place. Or more like everything to do with this place. But I'm not the one she expects to fix whatever all this is. You are. I think you should be the one to carry it. Frick, I ain't looking in this book. Look at that demonic Coridon. Why would Coridon be on the cover? A record of the expedition that the author Heath went on within the great crater of Paldia. The book has the name Sadarin on it in clumsy handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> this book belongs to Sada. Take care of it for me, okay, Tamo? Okay, don't die out there, okay? Freaking speaking like this. I can't believe I get to battle Pokemon from a whole different era. This is incredible. I'm so glad I came with you here. Seriously, a time machine? Feels like we just stumbled into a sci-fi novel or something. Oh, freaking. It can't be. It just can't. But then who? He he's freaking considering she's dead, isn't he? It can't be. It can, but then who? Maybe he's talking about who is the Pokemon that hurt my Mabasif, but he's talking about his mom. It's not possible. She's not- wait, this is so weird. There's no way she's from the past. She just confirmed it's impossible for a human to travel from the past. Bro, this is wild. And no one speaks of sad. Okay, there's gonna be dialogue. I think. Go for Rigor! Where? What are your parents like, Namona? My parents? Normal, I guess. Are you serious? Even I know about your dad. He's on the board of the Rotom Phone Company. Wait, how do you know that? Everyone knows that. He's famous, and I guess I looked into him for my own reasons, too. What the hell? So Namona's actually some pampered little princess from a rich family? Gosh! He freaking chased me like a dinosaur! Can you guys just leave me alone? Oh, uh, no, no, wait. That's so not my thing. Though, yeah. I guess you could say my mother and father were, like, hands off, but in a good way. My big sister probably take over the business, so they pretty much let me do what I wanted. Wait, you call them mother and father? That is some pampered little princess stuff right there. Kalate, <laughs> Papani, what is your family? Super normal? My, my family is unbelievably annoying. Like, super overprotective, you mean? It's just my dad. He's loud and clingy and makes up weird nicknames for me like Pen Pen. He's the most annoying guy in the world, period. He's the worst. Man, that's a real downer for your dad. Having his own daughter describe him like that. Don't you dare take his side. Uh, Dabo, how about you? Your mother seems super nice. I don't even know her. You met her? Yep, I got a glimpse of an amazing looking sandwich she made too. Really? I wish I could have seen that. I bet it tasted great. None of his sandwiches tasted good because they're using the freaking spices. That's why I freaking imagine I call it the top pack because it looks like it when there's a shadow. Yo, frick. Sada be dropping bombs, man. Uh, look, we've actually freaking gone pretty down. Like, why are you guys landing? Just chase me in the air. Chancey, yo, give me that experience. 
Okay. Oh, there is a Ferrigaraf, right? Let me steal that Ferrigaraf. It appears it's gone. Okay. Ferrigaraf is gone. I don't even know how it evolved or any... Yeah, this is the way to go. Oh, there's the Ferrigaraf. I will capture it. What level are you? 59? 58? What's good? <laughs> Freaking giraffic evolution. Please go on a quick ball. You would make my life so easy and beautiful. Something about this place sounds mad depressing. The music, you know, it's not just mysterious. There's like a depressing undertone to it. I'm not sure what I'm feeling. That we shouldn't have messed with time like this or what? You know, time machine or not. Wait, now that the brainwaves from the head and tail are synced up, the psychic power of this Pokemon is 10 times stronger than Drawfrig. Not Time Machine or not, Sada or not, were the ancient Pokemon always here? Ooh, the, bo the freaking books. Was someone already causing the ancient Pokemon to appear? Who the frick put this time? Wait a minute. A Time Machine don't just appear here. And Sada didn't make it, she just fixed it. What is that Pokemon bouncing? No, 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 no. Sada just fixed it. That means someone put this time machine here. There's no way that the meteor that fell a million years ago was a time machine. <laughs> that'd be, that, that'll make sense. She just fixed it. Yo, I bet you some crazy dude had the bad ending of going to the past. It could even be Heath. Think about it. Heath writes this book. Everyone calls him crazy. He survives this crazy exploration only to be called a liar and everyone, you know, you know, they don't even sell his books in the store anymore. They're ashamed of his work. The only place. Are you slightly blue? Are you? Nah, nah, F that. The only place that could be of comfort to him is going to the past. He'd be like, F that. He comes back down here and goes to the past forever. Gets stuck there. Only problem is, was the time machine working then? It must have been working at some point, right? That's the point of there being a time machine here. A working piece of machinery was put here. Weird, bro. What if, like, stuff with the Paldian King has time mess-ups in it too? It's nice to know time travels only one direction. So if any figures from the present are in the past, they're stuck there. You know? More for Rigorafts. They're really tall, bro. Okay, here's another lore dump when we get there. Guys, don't fight each other. It's just a giraffe. Please. Alright, another research station. I'm excited too, Arvin. In this book, I could probably open the book and read a bunch of pages, but I don't wanna. Nice. We get to chill for a minute. Something's gonna jump out at us again. 100% guaranteed. Ha, <laughs> oh Penny, such a worry word. Huh? Hey! <laughs> What's good? Arvin, you've seen this one. See, see? Wait a sec, this is just like that Titan Pokemon we saw. So it was an ancient Pokemon all along? Whoa, you battled one of these before, Arvin? It looks seriously strong. He did. Yeah, well, Damla and I are old pros when it comes to Titans. Leave this to us. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, ground fighting? Uh, it's so sick, bro. All of these dudes can fight. Especially freaking Arvin. You woolly... I want to hug this dog fan. I want to tie... Uh, what do you call them? You know, the cloth so you can sleep. I want to tie two ends to the tusks and sleep there. Frick, great tusk. Are you you're a higher level than mine? <laughs> mine is only 61. Okay, uh I guess I'll oh, hyper drill. It's gonna take a bit to kill. So this uh we still haven't met the Pokemon that hurt his Mabas. Let's go. Let's see how much my hyper drill does. It has to do uh, at least a good amount. Hey, okay, he dies next turn. You know, I feel like I feel like a part of me would be okay if their names just remained like this. But I just know it'd be weird for the Medicaid. You know? No, it wouldn't be. Great Tusk, Scream Tail. We'd get used to it. See, that victory's ours. Maybe the one we saw when we were searching out the Herbamista came 
from down here. How, bro? You two got to meet one of these Pokemon before our crater get together? Jealous. <laughs> uh, if we got things from literal ancient times growing around Paldia, that's a major problem. Isn't Professor Sada doing anything to keep them under control? How could she let this happen? Facts. Yeah, right. Because it's not like also brilliant Professor Sada ever messes up. Come on, Tama. Let's get in that research station. What if Sada's from the future? But why would she come to this time period? Wait! If she came to this time period in the machine broke, it would make sense. She had Arvin. Arvin knows of the broken time machine. That would be weird. She wears those clothes when she's from the future and made it to station number three. How are we doing after all that walking and battling and whatnot? Anyone need a rest? Hmm. She's thinking something up. You feeling rough, Penny? Hmm? No, it's not like that. I've just been thinking ever since the professor mentioned that time machine. The Pokemon here in Area Zero came to our time from the past, right? So what about Koridon? Isn't it pretty likely that it's also one of those ancient Pokemon? You're right. Huh. I think you're onto something. It is giving me off ancient vibes. Even its name sounds pasty. Wait a sec, I totally forgot. Hey, Arvin, you had Coridon's ball, and you told us about its forms in the first place. You must know something about it, right? Or, you still remember that from way back? No wonder you're everybody's little star pupil. Guess I got no choice then but to tell you what I know. That Pokemon Coridon, that is. It was found by my mom when she was working on her time machine. <laughs> Stop! I would believe it'd be best for me to take over the explanations at this point. Professor. Koridon, which I entrusted to Thamel, was the first Pokemon that was successfully retrieved from the past by the time machine. Seriously? Through, anal <laughs> through analysis of its genetic makeup, as well as its behavioral pattern, I came to realize that what I had discovered was in fact an ancient form of Cyclizer, the Pokemon still commonly ridden in this region. Well, that makes sense, I guess. They do look alike. It's a dinosaur Cyclizer. Many other Pokemon also came to this place from across the boundaries of time, but I was never able to bring over more than two specimen of Coridon. Huh? You mean there's another one around here somewhere? What if they're family? The other one could still be somewhere in Area Zero, waiting to finally be reunited with our Crydon. A heartwarming family reunion? <laughs> exactly! Imagine how thrilled they'd be if we can get the family back together after all this time. Family, huh? Yeah, that sounds nice. If we could proceed, Thamel, please disable the- Who locked you in here, you crazy witch? Everyone here got family, but... <laughs> I guess they're all a little disconnected from them. Uh, our time machine research has yielded a triumph of Pokemon from the ancient past. I named it Coridon. I was expecting one new life to treasure, but what a fortune to be blessed with this gift as well. Wait, what? I was expecting one new life to treasure, but what for- Are you talking about Arvin? Like Arvin is the new life to treasure? Yo, am I gonna have to say goodbye to Coridon? I- I'll let him go, man. I'll let him go. You can, you can never... No, we can send them back to the past, I think. Well done. Only one remains now. Please continue on to the final research station. Isn't that kind of eerie that that Don fan really made it out of here? These plot twists really tug at the heartstrings, don't they? Not that I'm complaining. You can leave any wild Pokemon to me. I'll have them beat in no time so we can march on. If that other Pokemon really is the only family it has in the world, it must want to be together again, right? Of course, man. What is this? Please? Okay, let's lie down on the very beautiful bed. What the frick? That's the healing music? I never heard it. There's Joy's music always... I need someone else in the front. Uh... Let's put Meru. Meru's pretty good. Oh wait, there is a book! I almost missed it! I've successfully brought more and more ancient Pokemon to our time since the first one. I'm so close to creating a world like the one in the book. A paradise where we three can live happily together forever. I must make it real. We three with a book? 
the book was written because the creatures existed already. What, was he the lying? But how could he lie but the creatures... She makes it sound... She's trying to recreate the, wide, the vast amounts of Pokemon that were in the book. The three of you. Flipping through, you can see illustrations and notes from a long ago explorer of Area Zero. Wait. This is... Okay, first off, the three of us. I have a feeling it could be... Sada, Arvin, and uh, the baby daddy. Her husband, probably. Did he go to the past? Did you stick him in the time machine? Come back soon, honey. Uh, wait a second, bro. I've successfully brought more and more ancient Pokemon to our time since the first one. I'm so close to creating a world like the one in the book. A paradise where we three can live happily together forever. Why would bringing these Pokemon create the paradise? This makes no sense. Bro. Like the one in the book? But the... The book is from in the past. That means this was already... Yo, this makes no sense. So Karadon's an ancient Pokemon. I, no wonder no one's ever seen it before. Damn, well, you gotta let me battle <laughs> right now. Um, it still won't come out of its Pokeball. Oh, right. Nimona's sick, man. That was the first I heard of it coming from the past myself. It was just some weird Pokemon mom brought home all of a sudden one day. Damn, she didn't even tell you. We all live happily at the lighthouse for a little while. That's the three. My mom made me promise to keep it a secret. And I had to take care of it for her too. So that's why I knew so much about it. So you did have some time with your mom. Yeah, but then one day Crowdon just went nuts against some wild Pokemon. A few of the folks living nearby ended up seeing it so the secret was out. Once that happened, my mom took it and went back to Area Zero. Guess that makes sense if it's a Pokemon from a different age. Yeah, if people found out, it'd be all over the news. I didn't see my mom or Crowdon again after that for ages. Looking back on it now, it seems stupid, but... I felt like I'd lost my mom because of Karadon. It was the worst feeling ever. I just hated Karadon and everything about it. I didn't even want to think about it. I'm so sorry for not telling you what I knew sooner, Damo. You should, be, you should be sorry. Shoot, that's like the cool... You sh What? And you didn't tell any of us. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it would be great to know all that relevant info before you got here. Dang, guys, harsh. Namona said you should be sorry. <laughs> you should have told us that cool information. Yo, so Sada was pretty level-headed. The three of them was Arvin, Sada, and Koridon. Just one of the Koridons. And Sada is not seeking the... Fame. It doesn't sound like it. Because look at all the fame she would get from this crap. No, she's not seeking the fame. Her research is what comes first. Uh, I guess any time bits about what she's accomplished leaks, then she gets famous off that. Uh, is this the right way? Where are y'all? Okay, y'all follow in. There's the freaking Corviknight. Just one more research lab. Hello, Shaded uh, Giraffe. We've come really deep, by the way. Look at this crap. Oh, yeah. Masquerade flowing in the river. I'm- I'm a little conf- Yo, what the frick? Yo! I'm a little freaking confused at- I'm confused at her wording. What's the paradise? Unless- No, 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 bro. Okay, 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 okay. We have to figure out the timeline here. So, 200 years ago, Heat and his man- are the first people who not only come to Area Zero, but make it all the way to the end. And then they write about tales of all these ancient Pokemon. Were the Pokemon here when they came? Or they made it to the end, and they caused some time rip thing with the time machine where all the Pokemon emerged. And then, he wrote the book about them all. It would sound like that's not the case. It would sound like he came here, and he saw the Dawn fans, some of his research team got injured, and he slowly fought his way all the way to the bottom. Because so far, this isn't so dangerous that no one else could accomplish this. Is there something behind the waterfall? Frick, it's gonna... When the, love, when the water level rises, he goes so slow. Can I even get to that? Wait, I can't even freaking get that. Reach, reach, hello? Wait, I can get it. Reach! I can't freaking get it! What is this crap? 
Penny, what the frick? You don't want to get wet or something? If they already wrote about all the Pokemon, what need does she have to bring the Pokemon from the past to create the same look? An atmosphere as what was written in the book. What the frick? There's some time travel mess ups happening. Someone here is from the future. Someone here I don't know if this book was written at a different time period or something. Like for example, let's say it's heat. What if okay, this is not the case, right? But I'm just I'm trying to figure out why something it doesn't sound right. Let's say heat is from the future. And he did this exploration and made all, found all these Pokemon, comes to the past, and there wasn't actually an exploration. He just wrote the book about all the Pokemon. And then Sada comes here, none of them are here. You know? And what else did they say? There was no proof that Heath made it to the end, right? What if he really did never make it to the end in the modern times? Alright, I know I sound crazy, alright. Let's just look, it freaking goes so much deeper. Hello? Look, it's the freaking Terra Crystals. Don't die, Giraffrig! Giraffrig, please! I've saved your life! What the hell? It's the bum. Alright, where's the last one? Where is the last research lab? Come on. Come on. The freaking bomb she dropped. I have a time machine with me in Area Zero Lab. So Pokemon can be brought from the past, but humans can only go to the past. The time machine, I guess, is from the future. The time- a hundred percent! The time machine is from the future! Someone brought that time machine here. There's no technology to pull this crap off. Oh, do I have to go back up? Yeah, I have to go back up. The time machine- yo, freaking Sada might be from the future. You know, that's my freaking theory. Wait a minute, how weird would it be if Sada's from the future and Turo's from the past? I would imagine- this is weird to think, but I, I guess it's the way the machine is fixed. I would imagine Professor Turo fixes it in a way where it can only go to the future. Well, humans can only go to the future. So, you know what's interesting though? This, this, this is kind of crazy. Professor Sada dressed like the past, Turo like the future, right? You would imagine that means Sada's from the past, but why would someone from the past have to dress like that? Wouldn't it make more- it makes a sense that she's from the future and she dresses like that because she's infatuated with the past. And Turo's from the past and he dresses like that because he's infatuated with the future. Is this the last one? No, it's not. I've just- I guess I've gone in a circle. Oh, this is- what the frick? This is the second station. Her team will be smaller, she says. This is really peak for me, man. To be traveling with all these dudes. My starter just hit level 69. Okay, well. Stop beating things up! We already had a full freaking game. So it feels like now that I'm champion. And I'm I'm here with the post result of Team Star Boss. Arvin's Charger Hunter. It feels like this is the post game. But really, it's just more of the main game. But especially wandering around as the champion, it feels like that. Okay, just don't hunt me. I'm gonna try to find the fourth lab. It should be somewhere around here. That Jigglypuff, it really could be from a billion years ago. See, that's what makes sense, right? Because Pokemon have lifespans. Okay, we've already gone in this one. Pokemon have lifespans, so it don't, it don't make sense that it could just live here for a billion years, you know? It would be, it would have to, you know, have kids and uh, survive that way. But if you directly pull them, then yeah, it's a billion year old Jigglypuff. But how you figure that out, huh? Some carbon dating on the Jigglypuff arms. D just the notion of that theory. That Sada's actually from the future and Turo's from the past. Is so sick to me. I'm freaking hoping that's the case. Y'all be consistently freaking me out. What it look like when... What it, I... What... I would like to see this. We're gonna have to defend your family. Defend your family. It's peaceful. It's a herbivore. Even though we got that freaking big hoodie on now. Okay. We're near. We're near. Uh, Arvin? Has anyone seen Arvin? Oh, there he is. Why oh, are you taking your sweet time, boy? Okay. I'm sure if I follow this river, it will lead me to 
something beautiful. Oh, wow. What the frick, bro? That ain't even just for sights. I was there. <laughs> I was traveling on all those ledges. <laughs> See that freaking satellite? That's where I started. That freaking blue thing up there. Oh, shoot. Volcarona. Oh, hell nah. Hell nah. Whoever in the book, it said the freaking past Volcarona. It was called like Slitherwing or something. Slytherin. Have I been, I've never even met a Volcarona. And listen, I'm gonna quick ball you. Just go in, please. I've only got like a 10% chance probably. But you can make my life super duper simple. Here we go. No, this one. What state is... So oh my... I'd be so mad if I looked at the leaks and just read there is a time machine. Sada has a time machine. Bro, you can't learn things like that. You absolutely can't be looking at that stuff. What's the point of the game existing? Go read a book. Go read a book that tell you this crap. Yo, who cut my tail off? There's no way my tail was always like this. It is, yo, you never thought they'd make a starter like this one, by the way. You know, because it was getting used to starters being mascots. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing, but this man here feels like some kind of classic starter, like some Gen 2, Gen 1 starter. Its burning body causes it to be unpopular in hot parts of the world, but in cold ones, Volcarona is revered as an embodiment of the sun. Beat that bellable up. He don't get to live. No. By the way, Kong Flu. How do I get it to freaking evolve? Should I look at all my... It's not like it evolves by Reaper Cloth or something. Is that the last lab? I freaking hope it is. I've been walking around for so long. Like, you know what? I'll fight like Raichu. And I'll... Well, not like that. I'll fight these Pokemon. And I'll try to use Raging Fist like 20 times. Maybe that's how he evolves. She... Look, this is why the dinosaurs died. Oh, he saw me. He heard me. He heard me. Okay, I've used Raged Fist like 11 times. I just used an Aether to get all my PP back. And uh, I don't want to freaking fight these Pokemon anymore. But surely that should put me at a total of 20 times used, right? I'll keep doing it. The frick? Dongus wants to learn Icicle Crash. But you are... Oh, this is good. This is better than Ice Fang. It has a, I think a better chance to flinch him too. Check this out. I'm about to hit 20 uses and Primeape is about to level up. This is it. If this is how it evolves, look, this is my last use. I should even use Final Gambit, but I won't get experience. I would imagine you use Final Gambit to evolve too. It's either Final Gambit, Rage Fist, or his Anger Point ability. Somehow I need to make him so angry he dies. Without... Without dying or something. Frick. Uh, F it. I'm just gonna switch it. I've used all of them. Okay. This should be enough experience for Kung Fu. Yes! Okay, please evolve. Please, please. I am... I am a genius! I am a genius! <laughs> I figured it out myself. I figured it out myself. No freaking way. Primate, what's his name? Annihilate. Oh my goodness, he died. He died. When it's anger, the rage monkey Pokemon. When it's anger rose beyond a critical point, this Pokemon gained power that is unfettered by the limits of its physical body. It died but kept fighting. No way. Primate has an evolution. Shadow Punch? This is freaking this. I might as well just keep Rage Fist at this point. So cool. I finally got it. Hold up. How big this man? How big he is? Damn, we got pretty decent size. Okay, is this the last lab or have I gone in a circle again? I've gone in a circle again. Okay, I know what I need to do. I need to climb that cliff. Wait, there's a freaking cave. i never seen this cave before. By the way, is this man following me? Oh, shoot. I got a team of four now. Yeah, see, this is why I couldn't see the fourth lab. It's in a cave somewhere. Finally, my team's fully evolved. To think the fr- Oh, God! Natural Jigglies! 
natural jigglies. Ah, uh, okay, team. We're gonna have to think about this. What is the fastest way to catch that thing? I'm catching it. I'm freaking catching it. Scream tail level 57. I can do. What? Who am I fighting? Oh god, jig two jigglies? Of similar form? I need a freaking get it! Why the hell did I make a terrastic prop? Scream tail. Okay, my dog. Hit you with that yawn. Wait. Shadow Ball is super effective. What is it? Wait, he it also floats. It, it kind of looked like a legendary. You can't lie. If you forgot what Jigglypuff looked like, it feel like a Miu Mesprit legendary. Frick. Please survive this. Let's go. Okay, that's pretty... There's no way, bro. Why does this thing actually look like... It's like... <laughs> it Why it actually look like a Miu? <laughs> It's Mega Miu Y. There we go. It totally look at it. Okay. Give me that crit cap. Yes. Yes. Yes, baby. There we go. Do you got a Pokedex entry? Scream tail. It keeps them so mysterious that they have these names. I don't want to know their real names. Fairy Psychic. There's only been one reported sighting of this Pokemon. It resembles a mysterious creature depicted. In an old expedition journal. His sighting? It's a paradox Pokemon. Ooh, just after Great Tusk. And Tatsugiri. Okay, done, Sparse. Did you find out your super evolution here? I hear water? What do I hear? Oh, goodness, you. Who the frick are those? Who are those? Ah, uh, those are the same. What are those? <gasps> those are freaking Terrastal. Oh, God, we're going deep. We're going deep in the terrestrial phenomenon. Oh, who that? What? Oh, what? Yo, he's chilling. Oh, goodness. What's wrong with them? Yo, what the? F There's the fourth lab. Oh my gosh, look at all these huge, gorgeous crystals. They go all the way to the bottom. Bro, millionaire. Everyone's had that dream where you found like a diamond or something, right? And you think you're rich? One slip and we can kiss our short lives goodbye. I was just thinking that. <laughs> well, good call. Watch your step. So the professor's down there somewhere waiting for us. And that's fine. Totally fine. All right, team, watch yourselves and let's get to the bottom of this thing. You got nothing to worry about, Arvin. You've done nothing wrong here. This place looks unreal. Maybe there is treasure down there, like the stories say. Yeah, this place is like something from a whole other world. Makes you feel like maybe you already died and went somewhere. Is it just me or did the crystals here give off the same glow as when Pokemon terrestrialize? There's got to be some connection. Only one way to find out. Come on, everybody, let's get moving. Well, I've read the book. There was some Pokemon whose shell is this crystal. Oh, goodness. Okay. We got Dino. Ancient Jig. Hello, you ambushed me? Nah, bro. We don't do that here. All right? We got to speak to me with some respect. Yo, what happened? Yo, he's going to die. What are you doing? Hey, Jigglies. What happens if I talk to this? Look, I can see. Hello? This is wild. Uh, Gabites, okay. What happened to the guard chumps? Just, you what? Why are you guys on the other side of the railing? Please. There's so much you must do. If I turn around and you're gone. Oh, Penny's looking out the cliff. Stop it, guys! Goodness, Jigglies on the restricted side of the world. I've lost my sense of direction. Yeah, this is the way. This is the freaking same place. So cool. So look, she's brought out multiple Jigglies. So Karada came to our age through the time machine. Bruh, then it lived here a while with the professor along with one of its kind? That seems to be the story. So we brought it back home, kind of. Or to its second home, at least. I guess this place should be familiar to it for sure. Oh, that's great. A chance to unwind and bask in the familiarity. That doesn't exactly jab with how it's been acting all spooked since we got here. Exactly. 
Doesn't seem eager to come out of its ball anytime soon either. Really? I thought it was just scared because we were so high up. Huh? Who said it was scared of heights? You did! <laughs> you did! <laughs> Given how Crown was acting earlier, I think something bad happened to it here. Sometimes you get all shaky just seeing a place that you have bad memories of. It was the same for me when I was being ignored by everyone in my class. Just thinking about school made me want to hide away somewhere, so that's how it feels. So I know how it feels. Aw, oh, Penny. The Dunsparce! So maybe it got hurt down here in Area Zero just like Mabostiff? We can't know for sure, but it doesn't change into its battle form anymore, right? So I think it's possible. But that's so sad, we gotta do something to make it feel better. And no, I'm not saying that because I super duper want to battle Crowder myself. Seriously, well, at least he said it, and not one of us. Nimona, you're kind of unreliable in a mostly good way. Why are you, why, who? Why is the dialogue so fast? Why, yo, this is a whole crystal. What? Yo, uh, what kind of crystal Pokemon causes this? Look at this, can I step on it? Give me a ledge. Oh, it's freaking ancient mischievous. Are you kidding me? Hello, hello, get out of there. Wait, there's only one, it's... No! Bro, this is insane. This is insane. Let's see the cutscene in case the cutscene is from Ancient Mysterious. Let's go. This is the fourth lab, right? Freaking, let's go in. What the frick, no cutscene? No one jumps us? Oh goodness, the freaking stuff is destroyed. Wait, we can't even free her, can we? Whoa, what happened? This place is a mess. It looks like something went berserk in here. Yeah, but what? Hello, children. Yeah, Professor, you, you scared us. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, don't, don't open with hello, children. Why is everything in here all busted up? I'm sorry. Hello, children. Freaking new way. Come again? I'm so, 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 so sorry. So, 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 so sorry. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Hello, children. Hello, hello. What the heck? Stop that. You're creeping us out. Hello, child. Children in. Children in. Children. Children. Initiating restart. She's freaking dead. Or she's in the past. The professor must be having some weird connection problems or something, huh? This is what Arvin was thinking. Well, it was definitely weird, at least. Almost like... I don't know. If she meant it as a joke, it wasn't funny. I've still got goosebumps and all. She's silent. She... Listen, there's robot, and then there's, like, a little conscious still, right? If she was talking to Arvin, it could be still a robot, but it feels like there's something left. She's dead, man. I'm telling you, she's either dead or she went to the past. If you're this infatuated with bringing Pokemon, if you're trying to create this life using these ancient Pokemon and stuff and stuff started falling apart, what's plan B? Go to the past. She just left a version of herself here. I need more people, more time. That man walked out not long after the boy was born. Oh, his dad. I need another set of hands, but could they be trusted? And how long would it take them to even understand? If only there were two of me. Well, they, hey, yo, this goes with her freaking uploading her consciousness somewhere. This is it, dude. First, she thinks I need two of me. Then she just gets frustrated and the real her goes to the past. And all that's left is this Sada. Look at this sentence right here. She ain't talking about freaking Clavel. My new assistant has intellect and technical skills to rival my own. A bit rigid at times, but I've got no serious complaint. Productivity is doubled. We even brought in a second Coridon via the machine, though this one has proved aggressive. Do I have the second one? Yo, she cloned, she didn't clone herself, but she freaking cloned her mind somewhere. Hey, yo. Have you disabled the lock yet? I'm all for leaving this place as soon as we can. Looking at the damage, I have a feeling maybe some ferocious Pokemon battled here. That, that was almost like, no, it can't be. See, he knows, he knows what's wrong with there. Do you want to press the button and disable one of the, yeah, let's go, last one. All locks disabled. 
Ah, ah, ah. Hello. Can you hear me now? Please forgive my previous transmission. There seems to be some signal interference. That's not what that was. What do you mean, Arvin? The locks have all been disabled at last. Please make your way to the lab. Which lies at the very bottom of Area Zero. This is a Pokemon game, bro? This is not... Not a Pokemon game. This is nothing like I freaking am used to. Where the frick is that mischievous? Where is that mischievous? This, with this mischievous, these are all the Pokemon I read about. This is all of them. Every single ancient one. Where are they? Was it rare? It's like hiding in the crystal somewhere. Okay, guys. Let's make it to the lab. Let's make it to the... There's definitely something off about the professor just now, right? Maybe it was just a little dramatic flair to get us all jazzed for more adventuring. What? That got you jazzed? Yeah, maybe even big time jazzed. You need to go see a doctor. That's just not right. <laughs> see, I'm pretty sure that call was really... Oh, never mind. It's nothing. What's he trying to say? What's wrong, Garvin? You seem kind of down. No matter how things turn out, I'm counting on you to see this through, Tamo. What is he trying to say? I, I know what he's thinking, but what's his sentence here? That it was pre-recorded? That she just has... Nah, bro. Her assistant has a mind, man. Let's go. What the frick is this? A big mischievous. Fluttermane, my dog. So freaking sick. Bro. Ain't need no Miss Magius. It's definitely bigger than other mischievouses. I knew it. It would never be that easy. Wait. This is the ghost of a dead dinosaur, isn't it? Bro, I've always been... Is that a gem under it? I've always been such a freaking uh, huge fan of Mischievous. Because it was so rare in Gen 2 to find it. And you, you know, usually when Pokemon are rare like that, you get a cool vibe off them. I don't think I can catch it. This thing's way too freaking... I don't think I can catch it. I gotta run away. My only chance is if I somehow yawn it. But she killed my yawner. Okay, well, let's knock it off. Let's see. Maybe we can do it. Okay, let's see. So it's got like some gem thing under it. It's got spikes on its head. It's got the freaking uh, fluttering things. Why call it's not even pure ghost. Maybe ghost dark. It's definitely it must be part ghost. Because it's the freaking ghost of a dinosaur. Oh goodness, this isn't good enough. Wait, I can use I didn't buy dust balls. Yes, this is my dog. Thank you. Okay, Fluttermane was caught. What's your entry? What's your entry? They're all going to say they've only been seen once. Paradox Pokemon. This Pokemon has characteristics similar to those of Fluttermane. A, 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 a ghost fairy. My goodness. But you know what's weird is that the freaking fake Sada is still aware enough to have tried to cover it up. You know, it thought of a lie. What the frick? It thought of a lie. How does that happen? Is that a bridge? No, it's not. Alright, none of you. The Pokemon just got like all fully evolved now. Look, the dunce bars. Y'all figured it out back here? I, I do the freaking ostrich Pokemon sucks. I can't believe freaking Gita had it. Goodness. This is why she said that she can't open it herself. Because she... What the frick? She can't do nothing. All she is is a, a freaking voice. Oh, where this is it. Please, y'all. I know you jumped me. I don't even know what I picked up. So, is everyone alive? Nimona has died. Where is Nimona? She's dead. So, is it possible that... The, because there was no sightings of that Terra stuff. You know, until explorers came down here. So why are Terra Pokemon on the surface? Is it like that? I feel like there was no Terra stuff until... Recently, right? So maybe Sada let some of the stuff slip up there. Frick. Like, I want to lick these crystals or something. What are those? Okay. 
freaking Doug Trio. Look, we can see the bottom of a Doug Trio here. Spooky, spooky. No, Penny. <laughs> Dumb, can I push her off? She's immovable. You can't. Oh, no. Mistakes were freaking... Penny. Penny. Penny the immovable. Thank goodness. I couldn't bypass the penny. No one can bypass the penny. This isn't even real. I thought it was a building. Wait, it is a building. But the, fr the freaking building is in a crystal now. Yo. How cool. Penny encountered it, not me. Are you kidding me? Did you see that? That was Penny, bruv. Penny, I have to avoid my friends getting touched. Wait, how? Why? Why do I not see my reflection, but I see what I see? <laughs> Shouldn't it reflect back at me? Okay, here we go. Here we go. We slide. My goodness. There better not be a freaking gimme goal here. I don't even care. We finally reached the deepest part. We made it. Ready to see if those legends of treasure down here are for real? Heh, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> That's just fluff they write to fill the textbooks. Who the frick calling me, Rotototo? Hello, children. You've done well to make it here. The structure you see before you is the Zero Lab. That's where you are, right, Professor? But wait, why does it look like the whole place is being swallowed up by crystals? The crystals here in Area Zero possess a peculiar energy. The energy can alter the functions of living things and optimize the performance of machinery. It's the same energy that allows Pokemon to terrestrialize. So this entire building's been terrestrialized? Is that what you're saying? Don't be silly, Arvin. The professors implied something important about Terra Orbs just now. They're made from the crystals down here in Area Zero, aren't they? Indeed. Though not many know it. Since you have disabled all four locks, the gates to the Zero Lab should be open for you now. But once you open the gate, you will quickly be confronted with the dangerous Pokemon inside. You are dead! She is dead! They will likely make a break for freedom. Dangerous Pokemon? With the four of you working together, you should be able to best them. Prepare yourselves well, then open the gate. You've got me and Thamel here. Doesn't matter what we're up against. We'll be fine. Ha, <laughs> well then. That puts all my worries to rest. My goodness. There's a dangerous Pokemon in here. <sighs> I've been exploring this place for two hours, by the way, guys. Open the gate to the Zero Lab. Alright, my dudes. I'm gonna call it quits here. Go on and shine that like button. Next episode, we find out if Sada is dead. She is dead. She's dead. She uploaded her voice. She's either dead or she went to the past. She can't be locked in there for 10 years. Who locked her in there? It's like she locked herself in with the Pokemon and let her research team go or something. She's dead. What the frick is going on with this game? 4K likes, guys. Double upload. We upload this in like a few hours. And I will see you there. Take care.